Good morning. It's turned out nice again. Mother, hey, how's it going, guys? We all right? Hey, thanks if you uh, came along to Saturday night uh, steaming last night streaming. Uh, it was good. <laughs> I'm very uh, sorry that I finished early last night. Uh, I think it was one thirty, which those of you that come along very often uh, know that it's usually about four thirty, maybe even five thirty. Uh, but yeah, I've got things to do today, so. Uh, it's it's quite funny because when I signed off last night and I got into bed, I was getting like lots of messages going, where are you? Why are you not streaming? You know, so I think a lot of people come home uh, after a few sherbets and then join us, you know, later in the evening. So uh, that's why we did finish early last night. So, um, yeah, I hope you're all right, guys. I hope you have a nice weekend. I think it's important that uh, each day, you know, especially when it appears quiet, you know, that we uh, we touch on some of the main transfer links. You know, uh, even if a, a great deal hasn't, you know, really changed in, in terms of the, the the credible speculation and people that you trust, you know, and things that they're saying, you know, if you go on social media, uh, maybe even read newspapers and blogs or whatever, I'm sure that every single day um, there's a slightly different version of what you read the previous day, basically the same article, just in a different order. However, what, what I'm going to do in this video uh, admittedly, I don't think anything has changed uh, since we last talked uh, about Gabri Vega. Um, but Fabrizio Romano um, put a tweet out. I think this is, it might be 12 hours ago. Uh, what are we on the 25th now? So I think it was last night. And the reason I'm making a video about it is because people message me, what, have you seen what Romano said? You know, what do you think, don't sort of thing. Uh, not that I'm, you know, that I know, you know, I'm just that, yeah, people ask me my opinion. And um, six days ago, Fabrizio Romano said, Liverpool remain well informed on Gabri Vega situation, but no, in capital letters, serious business. No bidders of now. Um, and then he waffles on about, you know, potential other players and things like that. So basically six days ago, Liverpool remain well informed on Gabri Vega situation, but no bidders of now, no bid, no bid, not bidders bid as of now from Liverpool, right? Six days later, right, he's saying Liverpool are informed on Gabri Vega, but they have submitted no bid and it's not something imminent again. So basically, like what I've just said to you, I think since we last spoke about him, I don't think there's been any change on that from. And if you, um, you know, this, this, this stuff, Fabrizio Romano is uh, primarily on Twitter, really, and Twitter is my go-to. Uh, at Duncan Oldham at Cop Talk, uh, and I've recently um, introduced Twitter subscriptions on both of those accounts, where I give you know my opinion and things like that. And I never used to do that before publicly, uh, because if you make opinions about people publicly, some people can you know they get might get a bit offended or something like that, or you end up getting in, into debates and discussions you know with people saying no, you're wrong or. I think that, you know, and it's just, I can't be doing with it. But with the subscribers element to it, and I am pushing it because I, I really do you know, enjoy it and believe in it. Um, with the, with the, like, like the videos on here, for example, when we do a channel members video, or if we go on the, the VIP members website, right? It's a more private environment, you know, and, and you don't get dickheads and you get a quiet life. So anyway, what I've basically done is on both the Twitter accounts today, at Duncan Oldham and Cup Talk, I've, I've commented about uh these tweets so specifically in response to fabrizio romano 12 hours ago i just put this is basically what's been said behind the scenes an inquiry but no follow-up at this time uh, so i agree with uh, fabrizio romano there's nobody contradicting him um you know i you know i like to see what fabrizio romano's got to say i i know that he's a, a tapping merchant at times but there's no doubt in the fact that he he, he does have contacts within the game with agents uh, primarily, mainly agents, uh, and uh, I, I, you know he's, he's he's entertaining, and I think that he's genuine. Do you know what I mean? I don't think he's ever going to mislead you. He just might sometimes not admit where he got it from. Do you know what I mean? And uh, we discussed that in a previous video. So again, the, the reason for this video is I'm basically saying, look, this is what Fabrizio Romano's latest opinions are, and I agree with them, and I don't think there has been a change on. Uh, on anything regarding this player. Um, in Liverpool FC, I guess it's a fan's account um, or content creator, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what you call them. Um, 
they said that they're kind of saying what Fabrizio Romano said in that tweet, but they haven't included it as in your know, quotations. And it's slightly different what they have said or, or are suggesting uh, that Fabrizio Romano said. And this is what it says that they're, this is what their take on it is. Gabriel Vega remains a possible target for Liverpool, but the club are not yet in talks with Celta Vigo. We know he's a possible um, target. Yeah, that's a, that's a, a true statement. Uh, but not in talks with Celta Vigo. I think that depends how you define talks. You know, we, we have these conversations on here all the time. The last, you know, it's, you've got to be very, very specific uh, when you are making claims about potential transfers and things like that. And you'll notice me do it many, many times on here or on the Cop Talk podcast. I'll say, hang on, I wait, stop, stop, stop. I need to be specific. So in response to that, uh, you know, uh, for example, we spoke recently about what is, when is a transfer done? Some people go, it's to Liverpool's done, that deal's done. Uh, it's it's what your definition of done is. This says the club are not yet in talks with Celta Vigo. Now, I've retweeted this again to my subscribers on both of my uh, Twitter accounts, Cop Talk and, and Duncan Oldham. And I've put this statement is true and false. It just depends what you define talks as. We have approached them inquired uh, and we obviously didn't do that via sign language or by passing them pieces of paper so we obviously spoke to them is that talks or is it when you sit around the table or is it uh, when it's you know there's a, a lawyer there do you know what I mean like so it's how you define talks these people are trying to say that Fabrizio Romano said that there's no they're not yet in talks with Celta Vigo I don't believe that I'm not even sure that that's what Fabrizio said because I've just read the original tweet to you um, but I'm not knocking the fan account, um, but I like to be more specific. Uh, so, you know, I said uh, we have approached them, inquired, and we obviously didn't do that by sign language or by passing them pieces of paper. However, there has been no follow-up as yet. So the people that I trust, the people that, you know, we have on, on the members' website and that, uh, you know, the people that you listen to, the people that you pay attention to, people that I consider my friends, they're saying to me, uh, the same as they said probably three weeks ago. I can't remember how long ago it is, guys. You know what my memory is like. Um, you know, basically, Gabri Vega is, you know, on the radar, so to speak. Um, I'm not sure I would define him as a target. I think a target is when you decided you're going for that player. So it's better to say potential target or possibility or under consideration. He is under consideration. Um, Liverpool have made an inquiry which I believe is direct to the club and not just via an agent. That may have happened as well, it usually does. Uh, but I believe there has been you know, formal contact between Liverpool Football Club and his club, uh, Celta, uh, Celta Vigo. Now, one thing you have to consider, um, just one moment, please. I'm just getting a message and it's uh, important. Uh, I know this video isn't exciting, but there's nothing exciting to talk about at the moment. Uh, what you right? So what we're talking about? We're talking about you know the availability of the player, what the finances may be involved in that. You know, you can approach a club and ask them. You know, right? We're interested in your player. Is he available? Right? And then all the games start. Well, no, he's not. So if he was, we'd want this, you know. And then you speak to the agent, which you're probably not supposed to do, but maybe not you as the sporting director of Liverpool speak to the agent. You might get an agent to do that for you because it's third party represent. Oh, it's not to do with us. He was not acting under our instructions. Do you know what I mean? So this is what they do. Now, what you've got to understand is Rafa Benitez has just been appointed the new manager at Celta Vigo. You know, and people are messaging me, go, oh, that's going to help, innit? Is it going to help? Or is Rafa, you know, Rafa, as Tom Hicks would call him, Rafa, is, is Rafa going to turn around and say, hang on a minute, are you sure you want to go, son? What's the crack here? You know, we're doing something special here. You are a quality player. I'd like to keep you. So a new manager at a football club is always going to change things. Uh, well, hang on, let me rephrase that, see? Uh, doesn't mean it's going to change things, but it could influence things. He might have a different view with this player. A player might be about to leave a club because he's not getting game time. new manager comes in and says, look, I want you to play for me. Things could change. Rafa, you know, it Rafa, if it's the, the board of directors that are like, no, we need to cash in on this player, you know, and that might have been the the the, the internal 
agenda for the last six months, a new manager comes in and goes, well, hang on a minute. Uh, I, I don't want you to sell him, I, I want to keep him, right? So it does change things a little bit. So I imagine any progress that there may have been, uh, of which it doesn't sound like there's been much, to be honest with you, that might have to restart, you know, or Liverpool might just end uh, their interest altogether. So just to confirm, there is interest, uh, there has been an approach and some talks of, of, uh, of some description, uh, excuse me, at some level, uh, I don't think anything's changed personally, regardless of what various ITKs and all that think they know. Um, and I think it's just one of those that we just have to watch and maybe tomorrow, Monday, I'll be providing a new you know, video about it saying, guess what guys, nothing has changed. Um, we spoke about this in depth on the, the stream on here last night, uh, yesterday uh, morning or afternoon. We, we did a stream during the day as well, which I really enjoyed. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, on Monday we'll do another live stream at some point. Um, you know, we spoke about all these things and the concerns considering some of our transfer targets and how, what it appears Liverpool are doing. Um, and also, you know, very briefly, I think one of the things that we said in that uh, in those streams and something that I'd like to maybe make a separate video about tomorrow is that, you know, the new sporting director, you know, he's he's going to work in the way that he wants to work. And all those relationships that the media had previously with Julian Ward, for example, they've all gone now. So those journalists that are desperate to get, you know, news for the Athletic or news for the Daily Mail or news for whatever... They've got to get a foot in the door now to George. Now, the outgoing football director, right, you would imagine will have sat down and gone, look, I get on all right with him, him and him in the media. And that George turns around and goes, all right, OK, that's good to know. But that doesn't mean that George will replicate those friendships and relationships. Right? George might go, well, I'm my old man. You know, I'm going to start from scratch. Is he going to be around that long anyway? You have a professional working relationship. You know, like he's going to speak to all the journals or whatever. But sometimes these people do become friends, you know, and, and might say, do you fancy a beer at the weekend? Should we go out for a bite to eat? What are you doing with the kids? Should we go, you know, and they become friends. And when you are friends, like if there's a friend in the media and a friend uh, as a sporting director or chief executive, um, it doesn't, you, you might speak more freely to that journalist with the understanding that you can't say, oh, Dave, do you know what I mean? So that's why sometimes that the journalist can't tell you everything that's happening because they don't want to, upset their friend, not just their source. So it's important that you look at the, the things that those journalists are saying in maybe other articles. So you might get told something about Gabri Vega and go, don't say anything, oh, I won't say anything. And this journalist might write, write an article uh, about Turam and there might be one sentence in there that alludes or gives away a little bit of the, the thinking of that journalist because he has been influenced with that. I, I'm sure that I'm not explaining myself very well. Um, but, you know, if, if, if George is only there for a short time, you know, these people have got to build up a new working relationship uh, with him. Uh, and I'm not sure that three months, if he was only there three months, if that's long enough for anyone to become close friends with him. And also, if you're George, does this person in the media want to be my friend because they're like me as an individual and we've got similar interests, or is it just because they want access to information? And these are all conversations and things that happen in the background. So while we see, um, you know, it's very quiet at the moment, you know, one of the reasons that could be, I don't know, because the people that I know, for this very reason, don't know George. Do you know what I mean? They don't know him. So, you know, I know people that work at the club, but no one's like, you know, coming back saying, all right, George has said this, George has said that, because George won't know who the fuck everybody is, will he, you know? So these things take time. Uh, and as I said on the stream yesterday, uh, you know, if, you, if you're from the city, if you're, uh, maybe if you're a scouser, or maybe you've been a part of the old boot room, or, you know, you, you've been a part of the club's makeup for many, many years, those people tend to speak more. When you're a foreigner, and there's nothing wrong with foreigners, but what I mean by this is when you're from out of town and you maybe don't have friends in the city, uh, and you don't know all the businesses, no one's trying to impress you, you're not trying to impress them, there is obviously less chatter than someone that's based in the city all the time, like when we had Rick Parry and, and Ian Eyre and people like that, because they know people and people talk, you know? So it could be quiet at the moment because we've got a new sporting director and nobody knows how to, you know, get into his ears, you know what I mean, into his head or whatever. Um, yes, there is, you know, this football tournament taking place at the moment, I've not watched any of that. 
you know, some people think that Liverpool won't do any business regards potential players involved at that until after the tournament in case they get injured. That, that's the most bizarre claim I've ever seen in my life because usually Liverpool like to get players sorted before a tournament in case they impress some people, rival them and in, you know the valuation goes up. So don't be too disheartened at the lack of news at the moment. Um, it does make you a bit squeaky bum because you think, oh, is this FSG? Are we going to end up with nothing? Is it going to be disappointing? It is only June and that's what I keep uh, saying to myself. So I hope I've tried to convey the messages that uh, I, I am trying to uh, in this video. So I will be back with you tomorrow. I think it was just important to, you know, to touch on what Fabrizio Romano says there because... You know, people do say, "What do you think? Do you think he's? Do you think he's right, or do you think he's wrong?" Well, I think he's right. I think Fabrizio is right. Uh, inquiry, communication, probably being told something in Liverpool. All right, okay. Two, the, 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 the can either go now. Nah, fuck that's too expensive, or they can go. Okay, well, we know where we are with that, but we're focusing on this at the moment, and they might come back to it, right? But if there's not a lot of this at the moment, it could be because we've got a new sporting director. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get off. I hope you have a great uh, weekend. If you enjoy my video, please, uh, you know, if you find the video informative, please do uh, thumbs up the video. Um, leave a comment. I, I love your comments more than anything in the world, honestly. It's, you know, when I'm outside having a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, you know, I like to see what you guys are going to say because I like to think, oh, are we on the same page, you know? Uh, and, you know, if there's any you know, maybe question. I can't answer all the questions. There's too many comments, but I can address them in a video maybe. Uh, and if you really like the video and you really like me, hit the love art uh, because that looks after me. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Don't forget to check out my Twitter accounts at Duncan Oldham and at Cop Talk. They are going to be uh, extremely uh, informative, I think, because especially my personal one. The Cop Talk one, you know, is Cop Talk member is on Twitter, is YouTube, is Facebook, is Patreon, right? But on my own, at the I can say I feel like I can speak a bit more freely on there, uh, especially uh, to, to the subscribers on there. And uh, it's going to be the way forward for me, I think, in the long term. I, some people like videos. Some people don't have time for my long videos. Some people like the podcast. You know, some people like to browse Twitter and quickly read things. That's me. I like Twitter. You know, that's my. I ain't got time to watch videos and and stuff. And as much as I love podcasts, I can't you know spend too much time on them. Uh, listening to them uh, so if you know if you do use twitter i think that might uh, interest you um i've called it the church of dunk on <laughs> on my personal one and every time i get a new one i go amen so unfortunately for you guys i'm going to be pushing this quite a bit on all these things uh, and i do think that if in the future i ever uh, stop doing the cop talk stuff which i probably won't until i die to the day i die uh, I, I would never want to stop because it would probably mean missing out on speaking to you guys, but um, then I would, you know, the Church of Dunk would be, <laughs> would be where I'm put until until I kick the bucket. So uh, I'm very grateful uh, whether you whether you follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, or wherever. Okay, but for me, Twitter is Twitter's my go-to for expressing my my quick opinions. Oh, I've seen this. You know what I mean. Uh, whereas on the other videos, I like to do the videos because I like to see your comments. I really do like to see your comments. So. Uh, if you're on the members website, you're not you know you're not missing out because everything goes on the you know the VIP members website. It just means that people can be a member on Twitter, YouTube, Patreon, Facebook. So it's all replicated across it. I just personally like Twitter. That's my go-to. Uh, and uh, proof that you don't need to go over there is the fact that I've made this video right because I'm reading to you what I have put out there. So it's not just a ploy to get you to go over there because I've just done a video about that and I'll continue to do that. Uh, but sometimes, you know, you can put two or three sentences in a tweet and not really give meaning, you know, like as to, like in a video, you can see my facial expressions, the, the context and things like that. So, uh, right, okay. So we have approached uh, Gabri Vega. I believe that was a long time well, it's a long time in terms of the amount of speculation we see every day. I don't think there's been any follow-up as yet. I think he remains on the, the tape uh, as an option. Um, I don't think there's a bid as yet. Maybe we'll think differently tomorrow. Uh, I think that um, I'm a little bit, you know, like, are we going to, you know, I'm a little bit nervous about a, a lack of movement at the moment. I don't mean in the bathroom or anything or down there. I mean, just like, it just seems a little bit quiet. But I've explained the reasons why that may be. It is only June. 
and we have to wait uh, to see uh, you know, what happens at the end of the summer and then we will evaluate everything. So I agree with Fabrizio. Uh, if there's anything I think that you need to know about, I'll chime in soon. Please do thumbs up the video and leave a comment. Cheers, guys.